Hello, my name is Ken Shahal. I'm a director with IPS Safety, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the Y1 tilt and pan camera to a Samsung Android Note 4. Step one, we will plug the power in to the port here, and as you can see, the light has turned red, and um, we'll wait for it to initialize. In the meantime, let's open up the actual software. In the Android zone, it's a blue one like this, showing I think. For the iPhone, it's actually orange, and it looks similar to this. And we'll download that from the App Store or the iTunes Store. And here we go. So we'll go to Add Camera, connecting my camera, and Y1. Now we'll just wait. As you can see, the light is still red, solid red. This is actually a slot for the SD card, if you, you know, choose to uh, have that for backup. This is a setup button that we're going to be using in a moment. And as we see here, there the light is turned red. We're waiting for a welcome message. And at this time, we're going to press this button for two seconds. And there's the input of the, make sure that uh, the right password is in there, Pacific time zone. And bring it close. So here we're going to use smart configuration rather than the sound wave for this camera. And if we've done everything properly, this light should turn green, a flashing green to start with, and then solid green after. So as you can see, the flashing green light has turned solid and it says binding successfully, meaning that they, the two have paired or they've shaken hands, they get along with each other and they're ready Press to... Next step after. And as you can see on the screen here, that is the viewing area. We'll just press that. You can use your finger or a device like this if you have a touch screen like mine and here we go and that is the uh, camera is facing a little bit to the right so we're just going to make the screen bigger by pressing in the corner and there it is so we are going to turn the camera at this time Let's go the other way, towards my fireplace. And you can basically go just about 360 degrees. It's a slight delay, depending on the speed of your internet. There's my fireplace. There are many more features to this camera, so explore away in the software. You can um, take pictures, you can save certain recordings, etc. And for now, 
this will conclude our demonstration of the connection of this camera.